Hello there, I'm Solvay and welcome to my kitchen. I'd like to take a few minutes to talk to you about storing rice. When you purchase rice in the grocery store, either in a plastic bag or in those little plastic containers, they can stay on the shelf in your pantry for three to four months, but you do run the risk of them going rancid. You can also store them in your refrigerator, but if you want to store a large quantity of rice, there's two ways that I like to do it. It's either in a vacuum sealed in a glass jar or in a vacuum sealed bag. And I'm going to show you how to do this and it's pretty fairly easy and um, let's get started. So first we're going to take our vacuum seal bag. Like I said before, I always seal the bottom of it. <laughs> now I, when I cook rice, I usually cook two cups. So that's what I'm gonna put in mine. I put two cups and then that's, that's what I need each time. So this goes straight into the bag and then we're gonna go over to our vacuum sealer, line it up, close it up, and we're gonna do vacuum seal. The rice in the vacuum seal bag goes really nicely. Um, in my last video, I did one on flour. The flour you have to put in a little paper sack because if you didn't, that flour would just come out when it starts to vacuum seal and you'd have a mess. But the rice is perfect. It's nice and tight and it's packed in here really nice. And this can store indefinitely. All right, so to do it in a jar, we're just gonna fill up our jar. Now I have, I have a Nesco um, vacuum sealer and Nesco doesn't make a, an attachment to seal the, uh, the mason jars. So I bought, I got the food saver one and that works just fine. It comes with two sizes. It comes with the wide mouth and then it comes with the, um, the regular mouth. So what you're gonna do, you're gonna put your canning ring, uh, your canning lid on top and then we're gonna put this on. And then this is the hose. And the hose has two ends. And I'm just gonna put that right in the top hole on the larger, on the wide mouth piece. Now that comes over here. Now a food saver has a little uh, gray adapter over here. And you just, you plug into that. I don't know why they don't, they don't make one. I mean, I just haven't been able to find it, but maybe they do okay so now we're hooked up now you want to make sure that this is uh, locked down on both sides so it won't seal and then we're going to do canister only you have to listen it all uh, there'll be a change in the sound if it's going to work see right there we're kind of changing a little bit it's telling me that it's sealing of course it doesn't always work, I mean, here and there it doesn't work, but we'll see. Okay, now if it's sealed, it should shush when I pull this off. It's shushed. Okay, and then we just pull this off, and we're sealed. All right, so then you want to put on your ring. So vacuum sealed rice, two ways to do it, either in a glass jar or the vacuum seal bag. When you have a few minutes, it's well worth the time to put up a little rice, put it away for long-term storage. I mean, this will last indefinitely, at least get us through this long dark winter, just saying. Have a wonderful day and God bless. Bye-bye.